I just had a patient walk in like this after doing kettlebell swings. Here are the three mistakes he made. And at the end of the video, I'm going to try to swing this 106 pound kettlebell for the first time. Let's see if I can do it. His first mistake was his setup. When he went to set up the kettlebell, his back was very rounded. It's very important in this position that you load your glutes and hamstrings. The hip, uh, kettlebell swing is a hip dominant movement. You want to drive with your hips. If you're like this, you can't utilize your hips. You're going to pull with your lower back and you're going to start the movement using your lower back, which is not going to feel good. Really make sure those hips are loaded. Hike that kettlebell up into your hips and start the swing from there. Second mistake that this patient made and that is probably the most common mistake I see people make is when they go to the to swing and they come to the top of the swing, they actually lean back, putting a ton of load on the lower back, which was, needs to be avoided at all costs. Instead, when you come to the top, you need to squeeze your glutes and as you're squeezing your glutes, you're gonna exhale. <laughs> That's gonna lock your spine in and protect your lower back. It's gonna look like this. Make sure those hips are loaded before you start to swing, pop. <laughs> The stronger your pop is, the higher the weight goes. So don't feel like you need to lean back in order to bring the weight up. Really utilize that core and the glutes all at once to protect that lower back. The third mistake, and the mistake I'm worried I'm gonna make when I swing this 106 pound kettlebell, is as you come through with the um, kettlebell and you're bringing it down, letting it pull you down a little bit. That's gonna make you round your lower back. When you come through with the weight, you wanna make sure that you sit into your hips and you keep your core and chest nice and tight. From there, then you can create that pop. But if you let that weight pull you through, you're gonna to have to initiate the movement with your lower back, and then from here, you can use your hips. A bad swing is gonna look like this. So when they come to bring it up, letting that weight pull them through, and then pulling the weight, and then creating the pop, right? So it needs to look more like this, where your back stays nice and straight, and you don't let it pull you through too much that constant flexion is gonna create some discomfort. Before I throw my back out swinging this big boy, if you wouldn't mind hitting that subscribe button, I love making videos to keep people active and your support is how I can keep doing that. And if I make any of the three mistakes that I just went over, please drop a comment and let me know. I'm actually kinda of nervous. This is my first time ever swinging this big boy. All right, here we go. This uncut raw footage, I'm only giving myself one take. Oh, wasn't as bad as I thought.